Welcome to another exciting episode of Truth or Questions. Here's where we ask the truthers who are asking questions some questions. And your host, I am better than you is. Okay, if you haven't seen the first episode of this, is entitled uh, Truth or Questions Introduction. I suggest you go ahead and see it because there's some criteria involved that pertains to the questions asked in this video and subsequent videos and previous videos and blah blah blah. If you haven't seen that yet, I suggest you go ahead and do so. If you have already seen it, then you know the drill. <coughs> Question 97. Truthers tell us that uh, some of the hijackers are still alive. The origins of this claim trace back to a BBC story, yet a few days after the story uh, the BBC retracted the claim, citing mistaken identities. Why did Twoofers insist that BBC said so, so it must be true? Then, um, well, when the, the, the hijackers are reported alive, but also, in the same breath, insist that the BBC can't be trusted um, if it prints or it prints a retraction. And that's a funny thing too, I mean, like, part eight of that is the, 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 the media in general and personally, I don't really watch much news because they don't report on shit that I want to know about. But in any case, um, they say that, you know, the, the the fucking mass media in general can't be trusted, especially the BBC for some reason. Um, and yet, they take this story and they run with it. Oh, but the BBC said this and the BBC said that. And it's like, oh, hang on. Uh, I, I thought you couldn't trust the cunts. Hmm? Oh, shit. 98. Following that question, why is it no one has ever actually produced the live hijackers over the last nine years? Uh, if any of these guys were alive, why haven't they been on Alex Jones? Why haven't any of them been photographed in the last nine years living it up somewhere? Um, if they were so obviously alive, why can't anyone find them? That's a good point. Why hasn't one of them come forward and said, Hey, fucking bullshit. That's me. It's because they're all dead. Wrapped in plastic. Yeah. 99. We are told the story of Barry Jennings, who, ostensibly, long, and sh uh, long story short, stepped over dead bodies in the lobby of Building 7. If that's true, then these would be Building 7 employees, but reportedly, everyone who worked in Building 7 got out alive. So, where is the official list, uh, list of Building 7 employees who didn't come home that night? Obviously, since no Building 7 families got any of the money uh, for the victims' families, because according to the official story, no one in Building 7 was killed. We can't pretend that they are getting paid to do so. Um, so, who are these supposed dead bodies um, killed in Building 7? Building 7's lobby. Number 100. Truth is claim, proof of demolition of Building 7 is that it's the first time in history. Well, so what? Space Shuttle Columbia burned up on re-entry. First time ever that. Uh, an American crew was lost on re-entry first time ever a shuttle uh, burned up on re-entry so if it was the first time ever is proof of a controlled demolition then why isn't the Columbia also a controlled demolition or an inside job or all the other kookery I know Lee Harvey Oswald shot the fucking thing out of the sky Chuck Norris did a roundhouse kick in the air and the pressure wave fucking took the cunt out. He brought, uh, Chuck Norris brought a new car. The bastard broke down. He got the shits and kicked it and the engine block went flying up in the space and hit the fucking space shuttle. Uh, 101. If tossing a coin gives you a 50-50% chance of getting heads or tails and your first toss is heads, 
what are the odds of you getting tails uh, on the second toss? 102. If construction steel is the miracle that it's uh, so... Uh, is the miracle that is so impervious to fire, then why do building codes worldwide demand that exposed steel be fireproofed? 103. Twoofers claim that people reporting they heard explosions is true uh, is proof of a controlled demolition. However, people in lifeboats on the Titanic heard explosions. Please explain to me how and why that the Titanic was controlled demolition and an inside job. Uh, 104. Twoofers often refer to Operation Northwoods as proof that the government conducts false flag operations against its own citizens. A wacky plan to shoot down our own air, well, an American airliner over water and blame Cuba uh, for it. Lyman uh, uh, Lemnitzer was fired as JFK's Joint Chief of Staff for even suggesting it. Northwoods was summarily uh, summer rejected. Um, how does citing this case where the government refused to false flag its own people to prove um, the government false flag false flags its own people? Yeah. I guess you yeah, probably find some fucking bullshit excuse for that one, but in any case. Next! Boodles.